Good evening, good night everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today it's the 3rd of May and uh, the 10th of Ramadan just started. Um, started now this uh, sunset. And um, I'm continuing to be out here in the workshop or uh, pottery studio uh, in the evening. Uh, yesterday I threw tankards. How many were there? Five of them. That are decorated in uh, different ways. You can see them. They're still a little bit too soft to uh, put the handle on and uh, so I'm gonna first inshallah make some more soup bowls because the ones I did last time I wasn't I wasn't too happy with because they were not very nice. So now I have um, seven pieces of clay that are 800 grams each. Let's see what happens with those. Uh, I want to uh, say especially hello and greetings to Ibrahim Gran in uh, Oslo in uh, Nor Norway, whom uh, I just had a very nice and pleasant and long talk over the phone with. Uh, thank you for following all my videos. It is a great inspiration for me that some people out there are actually watching these. Uh, thank you. Um, Ibrahim is a concert pianist and he has promised me that he will um, uh, compose a piano, uh, what do you call it, tune uh, that I can use uh, in the videos uh, when I'm fast forwarding, when I'm uh, turn throwing or turning. So Ibrahim, uh, now you know what to do. Sit yourself by the piano and uh, let the clay inspire you to compose a great symphony. All right. Um, um, I soon have enough uh, greenware to fill another bisque oven, and uh, after that, I will I plan uh, to glaze the stuff that uh, uh, are ready to be glazed. Um, I also will say that I purchased a Tormek T4, which is um, great for sharpening these tools. So these are now sharp, very sharp. I also sharpened all my knives in the kitchen. And uh, I like knives that are sharp in the kitchen. Uh, so now they're really sharp. Um, what else? I don't think there's much else. There's so much else but I uh, can't think of it right now. So let's start soup bowls that are 800 grams of clay. Oh yeah, I also want to thank uh, Mustafa for bringing me these beautiful uh, hibiscus flowers to put in the tea. Thank you Mustafa, they are so good. Uh, the tea turns all bright, red and uh, taste awesome. Thank you Mustafa. All right. Thank you. 
I made it too thin here, I think. See if I can fix that. I felt it right from the start that I put too much force on the middle. Here it's too thin. I don't know if it's gonna expand to a bowl or not. We'll see. See buckling here, way too thin there. I'm pressing from the inside and the outside to compact the clay as I expand it. My son always told me that he wanted me to make large super bowls that he can eat cereal and stuff in. So this is an attempt to do just that with emphasis on attempt. Might, it might hold up. Inshallah. So I'm using this uh, rib on the inside to shape the bowl. You know, pots are really usually shaped from the inside and out. If the inside is good, then usually the outside will be good. Just like us humans. It's a bit wobbly. See if I can fix it with the leather on the rim. Small beginner's shoulder here inside the pot. It's a hump. It's a sort of a hump inside. It's not perfectly smooth. I'm trying to fix that. This will of course shrink about 17% before it's when it comes out glazed. So it won't actually be this big. Usually when you throw pieces you think oh it's so big and nice and then when it's done it's it's not so big anymore. All right. These I'm going to trim afterwards. And uh, I think yet again I'm going to have to burn it so I can lift it without deforming it. Should, should be called the burning potter. The forgetful burning potter. Now the question is, am I going to be able to make six more just the same? Last time I forgot to turn this uh, burner off here by the cylinder and it actually was burning for half an hour here in the nozzle. Uh, hope my insurance company doesn't know about that. Oh, there's 
and ham on there. Not good. See how that turns out. Try to straighten it up a little bit. There we go. Trying to position the mirror so I can see, get a good silhouette here. There we go. All right. Try number two. for putting the, the uh, what do you call it, whatever you call it, but it's not really working here. Sometimes centering comes really easy, sometimes you have to work on a piece of clay a long time before it centers. This one centered easy. Then I make a V shape, I open it up as a V shape, I'm leaving about two centimeter and a, a centimeter and a half to two centimeters in the bottom. Try to reuse the water on the wheel. Slip. Compress the clay in the bottom. Try not to make a shoulder here in the bottom this time. Sometimes it's good to use these as a compressing tool. Erase the walls. I'm trying to leave it thick up here because I'm going to expand it. Now when I play my videos in fast forward, it's usually four times or eight times the real speed. And it's funny, when I watch really good potters, they do normal speed as I do four speed. Just to put things in the perspective. When you make a bowl, I've figured it's, you open it like this, like this, like a V-shape, and then you expand it, and then in the last moves you expand the bottom. Otherwise, if you expand the bottom in the beginning, it will collapse. It might still collapse, but... Oops. Cut in there, typical. I'm not sure the other balls try to make the same size. But eighteen wide, eleven and a half high. 16 that's a wider wider another beginner's shoulder in here and it's very wobbly well different is beautiful everything in nature is all different but similar 
So are the pots of the beginners. Yeah, I'm gonna have to burn this as well. As well. I read somewhere that a uh, famous Sufi sheikh, or I think he was a calligrapher also, he made this beautiful calligraphy of uh, of uh, texts uh, in the Quran, and just to show that he is incomplete himself and not perfect. He um, made some mistakes here and there. Uh, in, in in the perfectness, and I guess it's not what I'm doing. I'm I'm doing it because I'm not that good. But anyway, oops, forgot something here. Forgot to trim the foot a little bit. Just makes it easier to get get it off the wheel. Dry hands. If the hands are wet, it will stick to the pot when you lift it out. Now clay has a memory, so if you don't straighten it up immediately, it will, in the fire, in the kiln, it will regain the shape. So it's good to sort of make it good shape from the start. I'm going to put all these things. All right, next try. I make it flat like this, with, it will curve like this. So when I push it on the wheel, the air will escape and not be trapped inside the bottom. Now I'm pressing down with this hand. With this hand I'm pressing to the center. And that will start centering the clay hopefully when I lift it it helps mixing the clay so it's evenly even inside otherwise there's some lumps maybe harder parts and softer parts but you do this mixes the clay again, aligns the molecules of the clay. And they say, if you don't do it, it's actually harder to throw. I put the um, harder clay in another bucket to separate, it makes it easy to make recycle the clay later. Some hair bubbles, of course. Get those out. It's a big one. Wow. Huge. I wedge, I wasn't careful in wedging the clay. Might not be there, might be just some lumps of harder clay in there. Well, this bowl will have a character. And I got another beginner's shoulder. I guess I'm a beginner until I don't get the beginner's shoulders anymore in here. It's where in the bottom it goes like this and then it goes like this. That's beginner's shoulder. Oops. 
and hit it. Oh. I think I'm going to lose this one. Yep. Maybe I'll leave it like that. Let's burn it a bit. It will be a fun funky bowl. You have to own your mistakes. <laughs> or not. <laughs> that one died. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Next try. Come on, Mr. Potter. Make a nice bowl now. Bismillah. try to make this a bit different try to get the same shape but I'm gonna try to turn it in a different way better so far better. okay let's burn it Try to I'll try to do the same with this one as the last one. No shoulder. I think I got the trick on how to throw these balls. No shoulder yet, that is. All right, that was better. Every time I squeeze the clay out from this, it spurts everywhere on the walls. I need to invent a sponge that doesn't squirt. And let's burn. straighten the rim up you don't push up here you push down here if you push up on the rim here it's gonna leave marks and it's gonna be very dented right 
Next, Supo. Something, something strange in this clay here somewhere. Let's see what it is. Maybe an air bubble. You don't want air bubbles because when you fire them at high temperature, when you glaze it, that air needs to escape. And it does usually so by cracking the pot. Now when you have opened it up like this, you slow the wheel quite a bit. Here and here, I'm compressing the clay with this finger and making the round shape. This thumb I put in here, and then I push the thumb in and these fingers on that side and raise, pull the clay up. And compressing it top. Determining the foot. It's not 10 till 2 at night. Since uh, Stockholm, Sweden, this type of year doesn't have a, a true dawn or a true night, the sun simply doesn't go that far beyond the horizon. I choose to start my fast a bit later, around 6.30 in the morning. So I will probably be here in the studio for another hour or so. And if I have time to put handles on the tankards today. I'll put them in, in plastic so they won't dry more and tomorrow I'll probably will put the handles on. Now this one had some shoulders, beginning shoulders. Not really bad but still. This was not as good as the last one. Not at all as good. It's got this hump. I don't know if I can fix it. Ooh, it's bubbling. Had to change the shape a bit there. Rescue it. So now the beginner's hump is even worse. It's a big soup bowl, but that's what my son wanted. Good enough. I'm going to put this. All right. All right. That's it for tonight. It is now 
we're almost two o'clock at night and I need to clean up here too. So uh, I will um, put the handles on these tomorrow, inshallah. I made some imprints with different um, fossils that I found on Gotland, the island outside of Sweden, pressed in like this. See how that turns out. All right, take care, good night, be safe, have a good um, day tomorrow, and uh, salam alaikum.